Hey, Brethren, I'm, this is out of nowhere. Um, I, I, oof, the words, there's no way to. I'm going to put this on my other chat, on my other platform before I uh, finish getting off. Of YouTube. A real toxic human being. So that this doesn't go on the short and actually goes on my. Um, the the uh, platform. I'm exhausted, you guys. I'm sorry. I've had. <laughs> Listen. A real toxic person or people out here in the road rage, people out here in the stores that stare, put, are in the trance. Listen, the hypnotism they use, the spellbinding they use is all in their language. Let me let me say this. I, I've come to terms with who I am. Yeah. I'm not like them. And so I'm a healer. I'm a, I'm a prophetic etymologist. A language and communication specialist. A daughter of light. A kingdom queen now. Seasoned fruit. Walk Christ-like. Like, there's so much to me, right? Just not even in the natural, but spiritual. Who are you? We, we actually have to start walking and talking as to who we are. Not just our purpose, but who we are, that real light. I have to say this, though. I'm so calm right now because there's so much ridiculousness and dysfunction. And I actually have a re revelation, excuse me, revelation as to why people that's, that suffer with bipolar schizophrenia psycho you know like they have a psychology psychoanalysis issues with their personality disorders or split personalities or borderline personalities narcissists and all of the above <clears throat> emotional traumatized children that grow up to be scary and sad and insecure boys and girls and they don't want to heal some do we try to help heal them I'll say it like this and th this this would go down in history I'm, I'm going to tell you right now the most high literally went in and showed me exactly we're going to talk about satan right now we're going to talk about the enemy <clears throat> who's really getting on my nerves right now last night and today and, and yesterday the last couple days he's really been excuse me allergies are kicking up he's really been pushing the limit especially while driving see so i'm gathering myself together again physically and everything this is such a mental battle it's it's a mental battle it's war with the mind mind to get the mind mind against the mind dark against the light good against evil or evil against good, because <laughs> they're against us. We were, if we're of purity, we we're really in holiness. We're not really trying to go after any sin, right? But many people don't think before they they speak. They just don't think before they speak and who they're speaking to and how they whether they should honor them or whether they should be respectful or whatever that is. But this case in point. So Satan, let me explain. When he was Lucifer in heaven with all the pride and ego before falling. He wanted to take all the angels with him that would follow him. This is uh, the, the beginning of what narcissism is. You have to start with someone. There has to be someone, which is the same as the Antichrist. You have to take someone who is insecure or has some rejection issues, has some abandonment issues, has some um, 
attachment issues, they can be healed. My grandbaby's going through some things. My, my, my daughter is going through some things because of people getting their business just like they did with me when my children were young. Case in point, so there has to be a negative leader full of mind control, loss of light, hates clarity, hates purity, hates holiness, hates truth, hates righteousness, hates love, hates security, hates those that don't have self-doubt who can rise above all things, hates royalty, and then brings the others with them that is traumatized. That's just how it started. That's how it started. The fallen angels, which becomes a fallen man, the sons of disobedience. Let me tell you, that's, that's what it is. And that's what he does. He works in these people. See, the chaos within is that there is darkness in everyone from sin. We inherited it. It's the pushing it out. And allowing the light to come in of Christ while he walks up the step poles, step footsteps, excuse me, into the door of righteousness, the crossing over from Hamashiach to Christ of light. And that's the reason why you can see it in someone's eyes, what demons they have, spirits they have, or if they have light of Christ. I can look at someone's eyes and tell exactly what's going on. If it's a reptilian, if it's a human being, or if it's a split person out, I could, I could see it all. Most high is open my eyes to it all with that particular thing because that's something I have to help with. That's that's part of my servitude, my soothing, my service, my tithing to help soothe, excuse me, not my soothing, but to help soothe their heart to pump back and get blood in it and to work so it can be whole again. It is a job. It's a very big job. Love is the only thing and that someone has to be willing to love, but... I, I don't want to go too much into this, but we talk about the last days. Um, we're going to read Ezekiel chapter 40, okay? Obama. Obama it has been shown to me as the anti of Christ. His arms... I've said this in previous videos, turned into a reptilian, long, bloody, like, it was his left arm on the podium, and, and I forget, I think he was addressing the, the um, world leaders, the United Nations at the time. It's that green background at the podium, and I saw his hand shapeshift. His uh, left started and then it went over to the right. And I could see it in my camera. I could see how the Pope was cloned back then. He's the false prophet, but... I saw... I could see... Satan in him. And the thing is... This was years back. Just like I knew he was going to be president before he was president just came to me. I didn't even know who Barack Obama was. So at some point or at some time, he's coming back in some way. And I only know what the Most High has shown me. I've seen him chase my children, like trying to in a concentration type of camp, a FEMA camp. He's tried to kill children. He, I've had dreams of him um, dictating over the years. Mainly around 2016, 2017, I'm going to say. Or actually like 2014 to 2017. Um, I'm sorry, my allergies. I'm so sleepy and I have to do this. This wasn't the way this video was going to go. But then I'm going to just say this now. You guys are seeing me so in the natural right now. I, there's no editing. This is, this is me. This is how I'm feeling as a human. Very um, happy but tormented at the same time. And it's just back to back. And human beings that also are testing my patience. So, um, the love of Yahusha. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> it wasn't for praise worship while driving. Um, 
So we're going to go on to Ezekiel 40. And I'm going to hold off on any other type of judgments or prophecies. I may start actually doing that to help individuals in their life. Most High showing me I may be testifying into that. That might be something I'm, I'm going to go towards, just like helping them with their lifestyle, with health and everything. I also took cod oil, so it's making me a little sleepy. Um... So I'm going to do that in this next video and then it'll be goodbye. But that, but what I want to just break that down into these various parts, but as far as the, the, um, narcissistic tendencies and, and all of the just toxicity period, the most high revealed to me, um, so it would have been, um, Hebrews eight eleven and Hebrews H eight twenty two. One, one scripture is speaking of if they didn't fall. See, if they didn't fall, if they didn't fall, that's why the fallen angels are here. So you have to understand the demonic world and how transparent that is into a person being a human being, the fall of sin. It goes hand in hand, line in line. There's a way that the, the devil comes in to, to snatch the soul. The enemy comes in to snatch the soul because it's empty with anguish and bitterness and sadness not getting past the past it's one thing to just remember it be triggered a little bit it's another thing to just stay in the past and those that stay in the past have a spirit of rejection anyway a spirit of apathy and um they just cannot get past it and that's when the, the enemy comes in yeah so the other part is um if we didn't labor for the most high, if we didn't labor or servitude or tithing or um, doing our service to help others heal that are toxic or whatever we're doing as our purpose, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't enter his rest. They didn't want to enter the rest. So therefore they traumatize and they um, torment us because they're already in hell agony as far as their soul. We're trying to pull them out of that before it's too late. So that's kind of how that goes. Um, and the other speaks of um, laying down, I think it's laying down, not laying down your sword, but I'll have to look that one up again in here. Um, let's see. I will have to mention that on the next, vi on that next video there that I'm going to talk about uh, the rest of this. With Ezekiel 40, so I'll add it in there, but it would be Hebrews and then H4, excuse me, H822. But I have a, a kind of like a brain cloud for a second on that uh, because I don't want to mix those up. But the fall of the fall of the angels and then our rest and their disobedience. Okay, so their disobedience, if I can remember here. We teach this so we don't go through that disobedience. It's it's interesting that this war is such a spiritual battle. War of the mind. Which side? My allergies are acting up, so I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll talk to you guys soon. Shalom.